great pleasure of introducing Beatriz Usero. Sorry, Beatriz. I was practicing that so much as well. Beatriz, Beatriz Usero, who That's is so here good. to talk about a very special program that we worked um, alongside Beatriz and Ensenelia on um, from January this year. So Beatriz, it's over to you. Thank you, Rachel. Um, let me share with you. Um, first of all, uh, I am super excited to be in here. And my name is Beatriz Ucero. I work for Ensenalia. It is a company with more than 30 years experience in language uh, teaching. And now I would like to tell you about this little program Rachel mentioned. Um, first of all, I can I have to tell you that it was in collaboration with Cambridge and the Fundación Amancio Ortega, we were approached to assist with the planning, the organization and the delivery of learning, uh, the learning program. And we started with a survey and then from that survey, we learned from uh, about students' motivations, students' experience, um, students' objectives. And here uh, we brought you, because we would like to share some of their lovely answers. This feedback um, led the team to devise the learning program as it was. It is with a strong focus on boosting learners' confidence and the development of life skills. Now, this program was called Ignite and it has run for the last six months as an online learning program for almost 600 high achieving students from underprivileged uh, backgrounds. In the program, after the survey, there were three objectives that we wanted to achieve and we believe they have been achieved. Um, first of all, we've managed with the fantastic team of teachers that we had to keep students motivated during the course and on the other hand, students valued very, very positively the skills they had acquired along the course because especially uh, looking at their future career, they found them useful. And uh, well, let's not forget that this is a learning as a, a language learning program as well. So it was aimed at boosting the students' confidence when using their English. And we think we managed to do that according to the students' feedback. Um, how did we manage to do this? Well, first of all, with stimulating content. Uh, we've used uh, digital books, uh, the Evolve series in this case for this uh, online program. The content from the book represents a good share of the total class time and Evolve was chosen because it provided um, discussion topics and vocabulary that the team thought would be engaging for students. And also it provided uh, students with opportunities to become responsible for their own learning outside the class, which was very important. So learning to learn was in fact one of the six life skills that this program uh, has catered for, along with uh, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, creativity, and social responsibilities. Um, in order to develop these, these six life skills, um, the five tailor-made projects that were included in the project in the, in the learning program uh, were key. These projects uh, offered students the opportunity to develop these skills inside the class in a fun and motivating way. Let's look at them in more detail. Um, the students uh, during the projects have to collaborate. They have to, for example, manage the tasks, uh, resolve conflicts or spot potential problems and find solutions. Um, they also have to respect turn taking, for example, or uh, respond properly. It is, they have to collaborate and they have to communicate. Um, they also were given opportunities to add a little bit of creativity or a lot, depending on the student. And all of the projects uh, raised questions that were aimed at um, challenging their critical thinking skills as well. Uh, besides, most projects have direct connections with social issues, uh, which students found really motivating and they thought about their social responsibility as well. Um, on top of that, on Friday, we offered optional conversation uh, classes. Um, they were open and students could um, attend as many as they wanted and they mingled with other students and with other teachers to chat or even to have debates. Well, um, to follow, to continue uh, with the skills, uh, learning to learn and uh, becoming responsible of their own learning, we used write and improve as well. 
For those of you who might not know it, Write and Improve is an online tool uh, in which students can uh, write texts, uh, they are given immediate feedback, and then they can continue improving that piece of writing. We found it really useful. Um, and teachers in this case also could give um, personalized feedback on their writings as well. So it was, it was very nice. Together with Write and Improve and Practice Extra from Evolve, um, students were given lots of opportunities to become responsible of their own learning outside the class. Um, going back to the, to the projects, an important part of the projects was the uh, self-reflection stages. Okay, At the end of, the, of each of the projects, after the presentation, students um, were guided through activities, um, through self-reflection activities so that they could think about um, how well they had collaborated or whether they had given a creative answer or not, or if they had considered all the angles of a problem before reaching a conclusion. Um, teachers have assessed all of the students um, throughout the course twice uh, on these six life skills, and they have written reports for them. Also, they have um, evaluated and assessed them informally in class as well. Uh, well, we've talked about life skills and content. Let's move on to lingua skill, which was part of this program as well. Um, lingua skill, it was decided that the students taking part in this online program would receive a certificate. So we thought about the test lingua skill, which was a perfect match. For those of you who might not know about lingua skill, it is an adaptive test and it can test from A1 to C1, all four language skills, and uh, the results are really fast within 48 hours. Um, it is not recognized in most uh, many universities in Spain, and the advantage uh, for this learning um, online learning program, for example, was that it was 10% online, so students could take it at home. Uh, it took us very little to get students familiarized with, uh, with the exam so that they could feel confident, um, enough to do it, and we believe it was it was a perfect match. Well, in a nutshell, Ignite had to do with life skills, with um, language skills, and boosting students' confidence. Um, and I think with this, it's all. Uh, I will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Beatrice. Um, one quick question. In your opinion, um, because I know that we surveyed the students a couple of times throughout the program as well. What would you say um, was the part of the program that they got the most out of, that they enjoyed the most, in your opinion? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for the question. In the program, there were basically three parts, like the content from Evolve, the projects, and also the, 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 the lingua skill test. Um, I would say that students rated the highest uh, the projects. It's, uh, I think it is because the projects they did were something so different to what they do in their normal classes. Students uh, were asked and in their feedback, they told us, eh, it's amazing because I can improvise instead of reading, for example. Um, and I've got many opportunities to, to share my thoughts instead of you know, following a script. So um, projects were probably, yes, uh, most students' favorites. And how was the whole online experience for, for the students and for the teachers? Not forgetting the teachers who are a huge, huge um, important part of this program, of course. Teachers have been, uh, well, yeah, amazing. And uh, it's funny you, you ask because um, revising the feedback from students, um, many of the students being in an online course uh, wrote to the teachers uh, some feedback and they told them, look, um, I was worried that I was going to be enrolling, you know, in a very boring six month long course and probably late in the evening and I was not looking forward to it. Uh, but then after the first couple of, you know, couple of classes, I discovered that it was, yeah, it was fun and uh, I felt excited about it. It was motivating to have students. Um, some of the students uh, mentioned that it was a way for them to just forget about school and exams and spend a, a, you know, a half good time. Fantastic. Thank you. I just want to take this opportunity very quickly to say a heartfelt huge thank you to you, Beatrice. You've been absolutely invaluable through throughout the programme over the past six months. 
we actually have our farewell session today later this afternoon with the students so Beatrice and I are both feeling a little bit emotional today and it will be very strange not to be sending you voice notes and, and speaking every day Beatrice but I sincerely hope that we do get to get to work together um, again in the near future because it's been a real pleasure so thank you okay Rachel thanks to you I mean uh, I have felt so supported by you especially but all the team it was amazing because every little thing that I needed I could I could rely on you guys and and from the minute from the very first minute I felt uh, the team was working okay and it's such an amazing it's been such an amazing experience for me as well so I'm very you. happy and let's, to hear it and let's not forget the teachers oh my god that team absolutely has been fantastic absolutely best team ever thank you very much that's our time up thank you very much for those of you who have attended and enjoy the rest of the conference have a good day Bye. <laughs>